guys. So today I want to teach you a little bit about breathing. Um, when you're breathing, in order to fill your lungs with air, you have to expand the rib cage. Um, the rib cage should be able to expand in 360 degrees all the way around. Uh, so your ribs should be able to come forward, they should be able to move backward, they should be able to go out to the sides laterally, and they should be able to also go up and down. Some of the muscles that people are using when they're breathing are these muscles up in their necks. When they inhale, their chest lifts up and all those neck muscles get really tight. And then as you exhale, your rib cage should sink down and you use those abdominals, obliques, and lower back muscles to pull the rib cage down. You also, you also should be able to use a lot of your diaphragm right here at the bottom of the rib cage to expand the rib cage in 360 degrees. When you're using that diaphragm, you get that full expansion. You can notice my hands right here as I breathe in. They slowly start to go out to the sides. And then I should also be able to put my hand on the front and back and get expansion forwards and backwards. So aiming for that kind of expansion in your rib cage is really what you want to go for when you get your breathing. Now, a lot of people will tell you that you got to get really good belly breathing or really good chest breathing. I'm going to tell you that you really need to get both of those. You should be able to initiate breathing down in your stomach and move up into your chest. So the breathing technique that I want to show you today and I want you to practice at home is something that's going to activate your diaphragm, teach you how to breathe in 360 degrees, get you to initiate with your stomach and then move up into your chest. Having control of your breathing is really important. So you can lay on your back. You can put your feet up if you want to. Laying down, and I just want you to put one hand on your stomach and one hand up here in your ribs. Laying down really comfortably, I just want you to be able to breathe in and feel the difference between breathing in with your stomach and breathing in with your ribs. So take a big belly breath. And your, your belly should move up and down without your ribs moving at all. Now we can do the opposite, lift up with the chest. And you should have your hand on the chest rise up and down without the belly moving at all. Now let's do them both at the same time. You should get movement in both. That's really what we're aiming for, is movement in both in the belly and in the ribs up at the chest, moving up and down at the same time. Now we can try to control it and do half and half. So let's start with the belly and then finish with the chest, okay? So you can breathe in a little bit with your stomach and then switch over to your chest. Good, so we start here and we finish here. Having good control between those belly muscles and those chest muscles to control your breathing is really, really going to help you get a full breath. Now, you should be able to breathe in slowly for about 4 seconds and exhale even slower for about 8 seconds. So that's going to take really good control and estimation on how much air you need in your lungs. Just like this. Now, if you want to learn how to breathe in a really specific direction, like forward, just take your hands, put it on the bottom of your rib cage, and try to breathe into your hand, expanding them up or laterally. Helping to push your uh, diaphragm into that direction so you can get better expansion in that direction. Likewise, you can turn on to your side. I can turn on to my side here, and I can just breathe up into my ribs this way working on my lateral expansion. Or I could lay down on my stomach, and you, if you can, you could try to reach your arms back to touch your back, or you could just simply put the back of your palms on, or just try to feel it without your hands at all. And you could just try to breathe lifting your back up. That's all the different ways that I want you guys to breathe, expanding your lungs with your rib cage and with your belly, getting that 360 degree uh, expansion uh, in the rib cage, using that diaphragm, using those neck muscles to lift up, using the abs 